So the first is one you may actually recognize. I'll just bring it back up because it's starting to recruit now, and I think that that is, uh, or it will be starting to recruit very soon. That is Dr. Singh, who is looking at guamfacine for aggression and self-injury in PWS, and he's doing a uh, placebo-controlled clinical trial. And he was at NYU, and he has now moved. So the grant um, has been reissued to him uh, in his new um, in his new institution, uh, which is Maimonides, a medical center in Brooklyn. Um, so the rationale here is that aggressive behavior, of course, we know is very common in PWS, and it can have uh, you know, tremendous implications for the person with PWS as well as for their family. And Dr. Singh has um, had a few cases in which uh, the drug guamfacine, which is an approved drug, has seemed to improve aggressive behavior in individuals with PWS. So this funding will allow him to do a controlled trial and really show that. And I think that's really important for our community to be able to show it in a controlled setting to give everyone confidence that this is an approach that um, should should be used and it should be used or not, you know, to help us determine that. So we're excited about this study because aggression and lack of impulse control, which underlies uh, perhaps some of those behaviors, can be really significant issues in PWS and they can really impede our children's ability to be successful in school and successful in work. Guamfacine is an approved drug with a well-characterized safety profile, so um, you know it has that advantage of knowing uh, uh, knowing the drug, to, and it's been prescribed widely in typical individuals. But now it will be looked at specifically in PDS, uh, PWS. We know also that out in the community, um, individuals with PWS are being prescribed uh, some ADHD medications. This is uh, typically used as an ADHD drug, um, but it's important to understand in our population what uh, the uh, efficacy is and what if there are any uh, unexpected side effects. So that's what this study will, will help us do. It's a single site study in Brooklyn, New York, actually really close to where I was born, <laughs> but that was a long time ago. <laughs> 